Okay, so what's good everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. Bum, 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 bum. It's been a minute. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, but yeah, finally I bought a new ring light. Yo, Sana, in the past week, guys, like let me let me tell you a little bit as um, um right, let me let you into my life, right? So things that I do, right? So during the day as I'm writing my code, doing whatever it is I'm doing, I multitask. At the same time, I am watching um, Senzo Miyua murder trial. So right about now, it's the trial between the states and the five suspects um, that were it that are still in custody. And my okay, so I didn't watch it the other week. I started watching it um, when Advocate Mshololo, my fave. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to push back words like. Um, bizarre like alluded like those words like live in my head rent free because of that case Insane. oh yeah so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the things that i love to hate as a software engineer yo that's a guy yo yo where do i even start anyway um please do comment like and subscribe do whatever you gotta do if you like the video like it if you don't I game does okay and this TT <laughs> don't do it okay so things that I like to hate number one is interruptions I don't like being interrupted like not as in like when I'm busy with my work please don't interrupt me you know please don't interrupt me um not as in like when I talk then you interrupt no but isn't it like the fact that like I'm working and Rena, you are interrupting. Leave me alone. You see, this is like one of the things I don't miss about working from the office because there's way too many interruptions and I also interrupt other people. I know. I'm very much unfair. I interrupt, but I don't want to be interrupted. I mean, I get, I, I'm not going to comment on the unfairness of the thing, but like, I understand like working from the office, there's too many interruptions in Desert Kai. I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, number two, things that I love to hate is documentation. Huh? I need it, guys. Okay, so there's two uh, there's two parts of it, right? I hate doing documentation, right? It's just a lot of work. Like just too many words just too many words for as much as i love talking but it's just too many words that you need to type and you need to write them very carefully and make sure that they like um understandable that anyone who reads the document is going to understand what you're saying because well child, you know but um over and above me hating it i i hate it's necessary like i i wish i could say obana oh but like it's necessary at the end of the day whether i like it or not documentation has to be done and also what i hate the other side of documentation that i hate badly documented systems or functionalities or whatever but bad documentation guys come on i know i don't read it but like when i do read it it's frustrating <laughs> i don't read documentation but when i do read it and it's badly written it's like this is exactly why I don't read it. But sometimes you need to read it because some things, but, but you get what I'm saying. Badly uh, a written documentation or badly documented documentation. And that's another thing. Sana, it grates my knees. <laughs> is it even a thing? It grates my knees. In greater amadolo. You get what I mean. Okay, so number three, things that I love to hate, debugging. You, that's okay. Let me be specific. Debugging someone else's code. Yo, son, it's like, it's a heartburn. <laughs> heartburn. Um, that's not nice. You know, it, it, it's like, why are you writing bad code in the first place? Because it says a lot about you as a person. Like, why would you write bad code? Like, now people must deal with the fact that when you have a badly written code. Because, I mean, having bugs is not because it's a mistake. It's not because, oh, don't do it. You just wrote a, a rubbishy code. Let's, let's be honest. You know, let, let me just put it out there. 
the fact that we have to now debug you know it's one of the things i do not miss about working in maintenance ciao you know i don't i don't miss anything along those lines because you get debug was on the like so now you know it's yeah i think if if i were to work in the mines i would definitely find it diamonds and golds because the amount of bugs that i discovered from debugging i'm gonna I'm say like i should consider mining it could be a thing right it could be a thing number four context switching it's equivalent to um good trying to to interruptions context guys 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 imagine you are four days three days in right doing whatever you're doing you are in the zone has a zone that's passed and you are in your bubble and you're flowing <laughs> guys i hate context switching i used to do that a lot um when i was working like as a production developer Yo, Sana, because in like is Nintipa. Okay, and that's not everyone's system, but Abu Nitsipan's economy, there was a lot of problems. So, context switching was my second name. I know I said I'm Kitty Pony. I know I, I, know I said I was Kitty Pony, but like context switching was also something I did quite a lot for someone who didn't like it. But anyway, it had to be done. But I don't like it because it just like bumps you out of your zone. And I'm like, I don't want to be bumped out of my zone. Like, let me continue, child. But anyway, I do not like it. I wouldn't um if I if I decide to do it, you know, and then they call it multitasking and, and they treat it like uh go try and do it. A compliment. It's not a compliment, it's disruptive. <laughs> disruptive. Last but not least, yo guys, um maybe I don't say this a lot, right? Maybe I don't say this a lot, but I'm just a person who loves writing code. I'm just a person who enjoys solving problems like it makes me feel so good and it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something um over and above that I just love problem solving I love figuring things out and anything that does not involve that but that's an integrator but anyway integrator is living this okay integrator my chin my chin diva got to my is a great one it's here <laughs> anything that like now i feel like if i'm gonna be if i'm gonna be um hired right or whatever like in a scam now you're getting in the you've been a code to pakati because your has an anything in a code the greatest live and i'm just like i'm not about it you know I'm not about it like I don't like I feel like documentation is obviously not code but it's a sort of like a part of it because you also also like what I've noticed right I'm digressing in in the workplace right coming from school um, we will not write pseudocode on our designs and don't do it you just do your diagrams and yada yada yada, yada. they don't do pseudocode I wonder why but i'm grateful they don't because <laughs> that is a lot of work imagine <laughs> also because we're writing projects yeah okay my bad also imagine writing a pseudocode imagine writing pseudocode on a big project hi you might as well just make make two projects the one is for writing pseudocode and the other one is for doing the actual code so that's just about it so that's it from me myself and i and thank you so much guys for watching and please yours in chiluman like let me not repeat myself but anyway do do like comment and subscribe and i hope you enjoyed the video and bye